Your man cannot tug your hair in bed. What are we gonna do now? Do you wanna make a baby? I want a baby right now, guys. Before we get today's vlog started, I just have something that has been on my mind. I know it's been on yours. I have been wearing this USA lime green sweater for way too long. Apparently, if you wear something a couple of days in a row, it's relatable, but if you wear it two months in a row, it's disgusting. Her high request. I'm putting this in a donate pile. Bit. All right, now that we got that out of the way, it's time to head out for the day. Honestly, I'm a little bit nervous making this vlog right now I have just driven over an hour and a half to Laguna Beach Which honestly I feel like I should run into like Lauren Conrad and be like why didn't you go to Paris? No, that's the hills. Holy shit. Oh my god. That was a bajillion years ago I am about to do something that I've never really done before and I know that by like looking at the title of this video Y'all already know what's good what's poppin kudos to all the girls who make these videos I would think that it really doesn't take courage or bravery or anything like that to make a video where you mother freaking get extensions what is that that's not even me taking all of my foot fat putting it on my nipple it's not even a procedure i don't know why i'm so nervous to make this video i think it's because i know that a lot of you guys actually like my short hair or whatever but i miss my long hair so much i don't mind this short hair it's almost like 50 50 some days i wake up and i'm like i freaking love this hair i freaking love having short hair short hair don't care and then 50 percent of the time i'll wake up and be like okay i miss my long hair so much and so i've decided to come get extensions now i know what you're gonna say why did you come to lagoon beach why extensions doesn't that damage your hair at this place i think the longest they do is like something like 20 inches which should come to my belly button the way that you apply extensions there's like a bajillion types of extensions there's like clip-ons tape-ins keratins and then this one is called natural beaded rose it's like a way of how you put it in i'm gonna ask them a lot more questions obviously when i actually go inside the salon i love that i like drove my ass all the way to laguna beach to ask these pressing questions questions maybe i should have done a little bit of better research out of all of the salons there was one in beverly hills that does like kim kardashian they do like kylie jenner and they were like trying to charge me like six seven thousand dollars and i was like it's cool me are you gonna give me kylie jenner's face with it do i get kylie jenner's hair it was just ridiculous so i was like nope not doing that and also the way that they apply it is a lot more damaging because sometimes if extensions tug on your hair or get tangled then your hair could fall off and you might have bald spots I'm like psyching myself out right before. I actually don't know how long I'm gonna get. I think I'm gonna get the longest possible length because you do have to do maintenance about six to eight weeks at a time. And so like when you get extensions, it's like you buy 20 inches, right? And then you could cut it. So I'm thinking like keeping it the longest and then like, okay, obviously that's like way too long. Cut it in eight weeks, cut it a little more in eight weeks. And then hopefully after like maybe half a year of having extensions in, I could just um uh, take them out and my hair will be long again. Guys. I just got to the salon. I'm so nervous, but also they gave me lunch. Smoked salmon from Earth Cafe, but I think I'm a little too nervous to be eating right now. I'm dead ass just filming a mukbang, waiting for my hair to. I don't know what's going on. I think they glazed me, and now I'm craving a donut. What's going with crackers? Three hours later. Oh my gosh, I feel really nervous to do this hair reveal in the car right now. I'm still in Orange County. Also, I feel like this hair reveal should be super climactic, but I'm gonna show you guys with my fiance at the same time. Most of you guys are probably gonna skip forward, which like, that's rude. Just like, let me have a cliffhanger for once in a while. But I'm at the Irvine Spectrum. Every time I come to Orange County, I'm like, I wanna move here. And if you guys have been watching me for the past couple of months, you guys know that like, my two choices to move after Beverly Hills was either Irvine, Orange County, like Newport Beach area, or it was gonna be down downtown LA and we ended up choosing downtown LA so it's kind of bittersweet I definitely think I made the right choice there's just so much action downtown but sometimes I just like want to live in like suburbia this makes my ovaries excited I'm like I want a baby right now guys I don't know why I'm southern when I want a baby and I was like don't you think like people are gonna judge me because it's not my real hair I literally asked my hairdresser that and she was like honestly you paid for it you own it it's your hair I'm just gonna park right here oh, I think I see Sephora oh this is perfect and we're gonna get the Dyson hair dryer i hope they have it this is literally suburbia everything is so calm i mean i know it's a tuesday but what do you mean coming soon oh my god i deadass drove 30 minutes here for sephora and it's coming 
it's me. And then the next clue to Sephora that I'm assuming is actually open is 5.6 miles away. Now I'm gonna get this, I'm gonna find this blow dryer. There's no way they only sell the Dyson at Sephora. I'm sure I can get it at like a Nordstrom. Guys, they have a Ferris wheel. I feel like I shouldn't be angry when there's a Ferris wheel here. Oh my God, this is the Hello Kitty Cafe. This is the cafe literally everyone and their mother has been going to. <gasps> Should we browse? We've gotta browse. Like, look at how cute that is. Ooh. Wow. Should I go on the Ferris wheel by myself? Sorry, my name is Stephanie and my plus one is my new hair. If they don't have it in Nordstrom, I'm literally gonna pee myself. I wanted to use my Beauty Insider points, but I guess not. This is how you guys know I really wanted this blow dryer because they don't even have the pink one and I'm buying the all silver one. Thank you so Thank you. much. All right guys, we got the Dyson. They used this on me in the salon and I freaking loved it. Actually, they used two on me and now we're gonna take one home. Look at these palm trees. Look at how pretty this is. I feel like this kind of reminds me of like Century City. Now we're gonna go to a restaurant that literally only has the colored dumplings that I want. It's gonna take us another 20 minutes. Tons of driving today. You don't like it? It's just longer. Can I see which one's fake? We can't tug on it. Literally, she was like, I, I have to tell every client, don't be uncomfortable when I say this, but your man cannot tug your hair in bed. And I was like, oh my god. What are we gonna do now? <laughs> this is yours, right? This was somebody's hair? I just wanted to talk to you guys really quick about these extensions because today has been such a hectic day. Usually I don't like going to salons. I feel super uncomfortable. If you guys are interested in like going to salons, maybe look more in like the Orange County area if you live in LA because LA has a very different vibe in terms of salons than Orange County. Even if you go to like an expensive salon in Orange County or an expensive salon in West Hollywood, it's just a different vibe. It's a little bit more like uppity uppity in this area. Everybody's a little bit like, I'm so cool. Are you cool? But then Orange County, I truly felt like everybody was like just straight chilling and like goofing around each other. I'm just gonna do a quick haul for you guys because I got so much stuff. The first thing that I got is finally, you guys saw it in the vlog, I went all the way to Nordstrom to pick up my Dyson blow dryer. I've never had such a fancy blow dryer before. It wasn't an impulse purchase, but this hair dryer has been on my list of something I wanna buy for the past Ooh, I would say like over a year and I just never had a reason to buy it The only time I had a reason to buy it was when my other hair dryer broke and I ended up going with another Conair hair dryer I talked myself out of it and this time I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it I'm just gonna do it because I talked myself out of having a good hair curler for the longest time I was like whatever I could just use my Target brand one like what's the big deal? I feel like my curls look the same, but I will say it was life-changing to upgrade to a better hair curler Like I feel like my hair dyed less. It was just the best decision to make so whole Hopefully, I'll feel the same way about this Dyson. It is so fancy. It comes with like so many fancy things. Like, look at this. Hello, bits. Hello to you. It also comes with like this barbecue plate here. I mean, this needs to come with IKEA instructions. This is the most complicated blow dryer I've ever seen in my life. I have never. Like, that's wild. And then at the hair salon, they gave me so much free goodies. I was so surprised because usually when you go to a hair salon, like they missed you with a bunch of shit. Like they missed you like you're going through like the Disneyland rides where you're like waiting in line and it's like way too hot outside so they start misting you with stuff. That's what it feels like in a regular hair salon. And they start misting you and they're like, ooh, you like that bitch? And you're like, I guess so. And they're like, do you love the smell? And you're like, yeah, sure, right? Do you love the way it texturizes your hair? Yeah, I guess it's nice. Inside this bottle will be the sweat and tears of your ex-boyfriend, all of that. You remember that ninth grade boy who dumped you? These are his asshole hairs, just purified into a bottle and now I'm spraying it on you and you too could do this to yourself on a daily basis for the low price of $70. And you're like, no, I don't think I want that. And so you never buy it. But this hair salon, they gave me so much free stuff. I was like, really for me? They gave me this free hairbrush. I'm just gonna sit here and answer Answer all of your extension questions even though I don't know the answers to most of them and I don't even know if you have these questions <laughs> so usually extensions from what I've read I didn't get this from the salon so I could be wrong please don't hold it against the salon this is what I read online from the internet they said there's like clip-on extensions which are daily ones that you have to put in you have to take out and then they have tape ins which means like literally they tape it in so they tape fake hair with your real hair and you can't get conditioner on it you can't get the tape oily you can't 
can't get chlorine in the tape because then the tape will start to break down and then all of your extensions will slowly fall down. And then you have like the keratin ones, which is just straight up gluing hair onto your actual hair. And that is what is so scary. That is another reason I didn't want extensions because I was like, I don't think I want to bald anytime soon. So like with glue, if it falls out and such a force, it could take your real hair with it because it's bound to your real hair. Whereas this, I think it only has like a few points of contact and there's not really tape or glue. It's like a strip. And they gave me a free hairbrush. And the reason that this hairbrush is so special is because you can't tug at your extensions. That's like the number one rule. And like, look at how bendy these little br bristles are. So that means if I brush my hair through, it'll help because it's not just so stubborn and like won't move. It'll actually make sure that it doesn't tug too much. And then they, they work with a brand called Oribe. I don't know if this is their brand, but they gave me a moisture moisturizing cream like this is a full-size moisturizing cream like a full ass size and then they gave me an anti-humidity spray they gave me a moisturizing gold lust bits does that not sound like vegas bouginess nourishing hair gel and then we've got conditioner for moisture shampoo for moisture travel sizes and then i purchased a curling iron from them i can't say that i love this curling iron yet because i've only used it once and i didn't even use it because they did it in my hair today but these are the ones that they use in their salon and it's mainly because it's extra long barrel suddenly it looks like i'm doing an adam and eve haul but like pretty much it just means that i can put all of the extension onto it and not have to do like that double wrap nonsense you know what i'm talking about i used to have to deal with this when i had long hair so much it's when the barrel is so short so then you would have to do this thing where like let's say the barrel runs out then you would have to just wrap it on top and just wait for all of it to heat up that would just fry your hair it's the bio ionic long barrel styler haven't used it yet so can't tell you for sure now let's get on to your extension questions honey honey no. Do you like my extensions? I love them. Okay, as a man, can you tell that it's not my hair? No. Like, don't say the answer that you think I want you to say. No, I can't tell. I don't think anybody will walk up to you and be like, I think you have fake hair. You know, I already got complimented so many times about my hair today. Where? Like, literally at Nordstrom, as I was checking out, she was, like, touching it. She was touching it? Well, she it? wasn't, like, touching it like this or anything, but she was like, oh my god, your hair is so pretty. And then she, like, touched she the ends. She grabbed it? She, no, she just, like, it's a girl thing. She'd be like, oh, like, your elbow's so pretty, you know? Like, your hair's so pretty. That's okay. She was an older Asian woman, so I think she just does whatever she wants, you know? She's like my mom. Yeah, my mom just does whatever she wants, okay? So then she, like, grabbed my hair, and she's like, oh, your hair's so pretty, right? And I was like, thank you so much. And then she's like, wow, it's so long. And I was like, it's fake. <laughs> I feel like that's gonna be a thing. People are gonna give me a nice, simple compliment, like, hey, your hair's cute, and I'm gonna be like, it's fake, it's extension. I don't know how to just say thank you. Like, I feel like I'm tricking people if I just say thank you. Like, I feel like I gotta be like, oh my god, yeah, it's totally not real. Is that weird? So what did she say after you told her? She's like, how long do they last? And then I told her, and then she asked me how much it was. And then like, as I was walking out, I realized how weird that conversation is. Two girls being like, how much is your hair? It's creepy. Like, how much is your hair, honey? My hair? <laughs> Priceless. I could've just gave you my hair. And taped it onto the ends of mine. Do whatever you want. Tape it on, glue it on, sew it on there. I showed my mom and my dad. I sent them a picture of my extensions. And my dad, he literally was like, how heavy are they, right? And I was like, I don't know. It feels kind of heavy because it's the first day. This all of a sudden, my head's not used to it because it didn't gradually grow into it. And so I'm like, oh, it feels pretty heavy right now. He said it'll like leave after two weeks. And then he was like, well, how heavy does it feel? And I was like, I don't know, like maybe a pound and a half. And he straight up goes. My daughter's walking around with an iPad on her head. Wow. <laughs> the reason I was on a phone call so late with them was because I was booking tickets for my mom, my dad, and Daniel, my cousin, to come to LA in June, like the beginning of June. Just so excited because Daniel wanted to come to LA. My parents have to drop off the dogs. And like we were going to go pick them up, but my parents really wanted to come to LA too. So it just worked out perfectly. I booked all the tickets and then I was like, okay, wait, it's asking for everybody's birthday. And like everything was fine until I got to Daniel's section because Daniel is fast asleep right now. And I was like, I would what do I do? What do I do? I know his birthday, but I wasn't particularly sure about his year and I just wanted to double check, right? And so my mom's like, oh, your dad should know. So she's like, hey, hey, come here. Tell us when Daniel's birthday is, right? And then he goes, what'd you say? And I go, when's Hyunwoo's birthday? That's his Korean name. When's Hyunwoo's birthday? And then he goes, Hyunwoo's birthday? Well, the day he was born. And I was like, oh my God. Are you really doing dad jokes right now? Why are they called dad jokes? Because it's like such a dad thing to say. Like, no one would say that but a dad. Like, really? you have a lot of dad jokes. Do you think all the dads just sit together and they make dad jokes together? Yeah, I think they all sit around and make dad jokes. That's how all the dads do dad jokes. Because they, like, go hang out 
and trade dad jokes. And they come back home to like test out, I don't know, Tom's dad joke. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to make a baby and then you go hang out with some dad? Should we infiltrate the dad club and see what's going on over there? Should we do all of this for some content? Where do dads hang out? I don't know, like PTA meetings, strip clubs. So I got 22 inches. They come in 18, 20, and 22, I believe. And I decided to get the longest one because like I said in the car, you can always cut them. So if I decide in six weeks or eight weeks or whenever I decide, I could literally just go to anywhere and have them cut like this little tail off, you know? Now I have to get ready for bed. And here's another thing that I didn't know what was gonna happen when I got extensions was the fact that I can't sleep just like the way that I normally sleep. So usually when I go to bed, I just lay in bed like this and I don't think anything of it. Sometimes I'll clip up like the top part of my head, but you can't do that with extensions because you might tug on it. And so they said, I have two options. I can do a loose ponytail or I can very loosely braid each side, very loosely. Braid each side and then tie it at the end very loosely and sleep like that. And just like that, guys. <laughs> Look at me, you know what this looks like? When men stretch and loose hair just right down the middle and then you've got like the two side poofs. But that's gonna be it for today's vlog. Let me know in the comments if you guys are interested in more beautiful angle shots like this one right here. This is a piece of art. If you guys are interested in more like questions about my extensions, my upkeep, my reviews, like after a week, after two weeks, let me know in the comments. I hope you guys stay tuned for tomorrow and I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh.